This is smithy.tv. Oh, man. <laughs> Masterpiece Theater. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, tonight on Smithy TV, after Sue and I finish with our new Star Wars comic. Uh, <laughs> the Mind Reels, that would be me, Tim, and my good friend Sue. Hello, Sue. Hello, Tim. How are you? You're in a strange mood this evening. Oh, I'm not quite sure what's going on yet. It's been a pretty good day, though. I won't lie. You know, despite a little static at work, things are good. But, uh, well, what? Should I not be in a good mood? It's been a no, good you day. can be. All right, all right. Great, good. And today, <laughs> though, we are sitting in the studio with someone who's long overdue to be on our show. Because we have been guests on his show a couple times. I think you've done it twice, right? I know I've done it twice. I did, we did it once at the at, uh, Baseball BJ game. game and once in the apartment. One of the, And he actually helped inspire and kind of pushed me in the right direction to get the whole blog and everything and the podcast underway. Especially the podcast. Yeah, especially the podcast. So he's got his own site. He sure which, does. Yes, he does. And uh, we are happy to have our good friend Ryan McNeil here with us tonight. I just want to be clear. I'm really here because like the fourth AD on Lost Girl couldn't. Oh, oh. <laughs> so the caterer on Bob oh. was canceled, and you just went with the next wow. person who walked into the office. Wow. <laughs> Making sure. We pulled the Mad Hatter. I thought we were getting a Once Upon a Time guest. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah. Sorry to disappoint. But I am happy to be here. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's Please long overdue, dude. Long overdue. Yeah. Long overdue. But yeah, and like I said, you were part of the uh, impetus behind the creation of the podcast and the blog. And then I watched you eclipse me in success <laughs> on every single turn. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't There's a reason why yeah, I, don't I don't even talk. share my numbers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But yeah, it's it's, it's like creating the monster and, it is. And, and then watching him like you know start screaming about fire and yeah, Asking you know, pushing little girls and yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. How do I do this? <laughs> you have numbers. Shut Figure up. it yeah. out. Yes. Yourself. <laughs> You're on your own. Ask one of your readers to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. <laughs> So and you know, Audrey would get right back to us. She too. would though. She, Audrey would look <laughs> yeah. it up and she'd be right back to us. And of course, you know a little bit about our show. We always like to start with our favorite question. I, I don't know that. Oh, really? Actually. Not a fan, apparently. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Your all-time I favorite said, movie. Oh, ever. I feel like I've talked that to death, but uh, right. maybe not. Um, Do my it. all-time favorite film is uh, is Almost Famous. Uh, Two thousand. Cameron Crowe. Uh, it's a love letter to rock and roll. Uh, Almost since I, like the moment I saw it too, it's it's one of those ones. It wasn't one of these ones that like kind of crept up. It was just like I saw it and like wow, right that, from is, the that, that is yeah. the new that is the new Grail. Yeah. The funny thing is, you know, of course you rewatch it and rewatch it, and the last one of the last times I rewatched it, um, I actually realized that it means it means more now uh, as a writer. Uh, it was, oh, it was kind of, like I always, yeah. I always loved it. Like as 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 a music lover, and, and certainly you know somebody who's you know traveled here and there. I always loved it for that. But as as I'm a writer now and somewhat of a journalist, I I I gravitate even more to William yeah. Miller and just how deeply out of his element he is. Mm-hmm. There's lots of moments where I, I look at that kid and I'm like, I feel like that at 30 something nice. when I'm talking to people. I need people. to rewatch it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I know. I almost put it on the weekend because I was looking for stuff to watch, but then I put uh, League of Their Own on instead. But uh, <laughs> and then I got a message from a, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, that, that is. But yeah, <laughs> for all those reasons and just for, like just the, the awesome rock and roll that's oh, in that. Of course, movie. yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it, it is endlessly quotable. 
well, I, I, there's about I'm a, a golden a, god. Yes, there's a dozen, <laughs> there are a dozen <laughs> lines in that movie that I would yeah. give my right not yeah. to write anything nearly as as good as those lines. That was the movie I fell in love with Kate Hudson for a few minutes. That, I think everybody fell yeah, in love with because she's got that movie. scene by the tree. And well, she she's turns the, around and she's smi- You know, she's kind of crying and she does that little half smile, like, "Oh my god, you're breaking my heart." But she's. But the thing is, it's kind of funny because she's actually gone on. Like that character has gone on to be kind of. Um, there's a there's a little bit of resistance to that character now. They call it the manic manic pixie dream girl. The you know the girl who's kind of who, no seriously who's she's she's quirky and she has good taste and stuff and she brings you out of yourself and you know you're thinking like Kate Hudson or uh, Summer in Five Hundred Days of Summer or Natalie Portman in, uh, in, in, in no in in, um, in Garden, Garden State. State that, that oh, one yeah. you know usually younger yeah. um, and, and it's kind of it's like. It's it's almost a stereotype unto itself now. So while I do That's like true. that character, yeah. it's kind of again in the thirteen years now since Almost Famous, it's become something different. Yeah, but That's um, true. but no, she is wow. you know I I, I, I never I never weekend. I never met somebody like that who would introduce me yeah. to great stuff. So yeah, there's there's a jealousy there too. Yeah, she's got to be up there somewhere. I'm sure she is. I'm sure, most likely. I'm looking I mean, for. Her. She's probably she's probably watching your podcast That's and not right. listening to mine. Oh wow. <laughs> But you're right. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> wow, but the, you're right. It's probably true. <laughs> but uh, the, the big reason we figured we'd all get together today is because we want to talk about, you know, the movies. Movies of last year, movies coming up in 2013, what we're excited about. Compare, you know, some So of we're favorites. not going to talk about Bomb Girls? I just watched, like, seven episodes. Really? All right. You're up to date. <laughs> There's a new episode tonight. <laughs> Why are we here? The episode is Rose is Red. I'll watch it when Great I get episode. home. You'll cry. I didn't cry, but it was really good. Right. Not a lot. <laughs> I was, uh, actually, since we're going to talk about movies anyway, uh, have you seen, Probably. I'm pretty sure you haven't, mm-hmm. uh, The Impossible? The Ewan McGregor? And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh. I wasn't a fan. No? No. Did you see it? No, not yet. I was going to go tomorrow. No, maybe. but apparently the Lindsay Lewis loves it. Mm. Cry he cried. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Um, I wanted to see it at TIFF. I the didn't. crazy thing is, it, it starts off amazingly well. Like when 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 the tsunami hits, it's it's intense and and just the clip on the trailer freaked me out. Well, because that's the thing, like that goes for a long time actually. Like that's at least a fifteen minute sequence uh, of of keeping up with Naomi Watts as she's like washed through the the like basically through the jungle while try and like her kid she can see and they're trying to a stop moving and b like trying to catch up with each other. And it's intense as hell. Like I just I like like this the whole time. Wow. But after that, it falls off really fast. And the unfortunate part about it that I don't know if you know, there's a lot of stories that you can tell about the tsunami and about the impossible. But it focuses on a very rich white family, yeah. which you know you walk away from and you're like, you know, an awful lot of people died who <laughs> lived there mm-hmm. and and didn't have the means that this family yeah. had. To, to help them on their on this struggle. It's an amazing struggle, um, for sure. I just and then there's other stuff in the execution. So no, I wasn't crazy. Nice. Which is it's sad because it's 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 you know, it's a story that can be told very well. So it's, yeah. it's kinda sucks. That that does that happen. Are you gonna also go see it anyway? Because uh, well, you'll you only yeah, listen to me about half the time. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's going, yes. <laughs> you will see it. You will. It will happen. <laughs> These aren't the rich white people you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Move along. You, will be about, you will be thinking about that when you see the movie. Watch. Yes. I promise you. Now, I've, I've posted my list of my favorite films of the year. You've done yours. I think Sue's still kind of toying. Well, I just never wrote it. I haven't written oh, it. So, but, I you, have it. but you've got it. It's not in order. Uh, so <laughs> well, that's okay. pick your favoritist. Um, I would probably wait. Let me just. Uh, yeah, no, I'd probably pick Hitchcock. It's definitely wow. wow or Goon. Ooh, that's a good one too. We saw that together. Now that I yeah, now that I have permission to use Goon because I was confused about the release date before. <laughs> well, it's, I'm like it's, we saw it in 2012. Did we not see it right at the beginning of its run? <laughs> it's one of these crazy things that we go through um, having the the With wonderful Tiff. the wonderful film festival that we have. Mm-hmm. Is that there's sometimes it's like wait, when did that actually come out? Um, not to mention the fact that we live in movie-going Shangri-La. <laughs> yeah, I swear exactly. to God, if Love you cannot you find, <laughs> yeah, if you cannot find something to watch at a movie theater in Toronto, you're doing just not wrong. trying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so no, yeah, Goon, Goon was great. Yeah. And Rebecca was on there. Yes. Did, and she updated her picture recently. Did you see that? <laughs> she's sure knocking Sean William Scott in the face. Looks <laughs> great. <laughs> awesome. She's like pounding. He's all like, whoa. <laughs> Spittle flying. But yeah, I was actually. I remember being surprised at how much I loved that movie. 
And, uh, and I think I even leaned over to you like part way through and I'm like, I am loving this. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not what she said to me through Life of Pi. You no, I didn't really? say that. <laughs> well, wow. the, well, in the sequence where you know Richard Parker is ripping into the uh, other animals, she yeah. leans over and goes, The other animals are ripping into the other animals. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of animals already died in yeah. the boat. She, goes, she like, leans over and goes, I hate this movie so yeah. much. Oh, <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, man. <laughs> she was having a tough time with it. I, mean, I imagine. <laughs> every animal's dying right in front of me. <laughs> But then they get to the island and it's like flooded with meerkats. With, with yeah. meerkats. I'm, I'm like, oh, Sue's going to be all over this. <laughs> yeah, he's like trying to f- sleep and they're like, they're all crawling all over. Him. Yeah. Like, Don't knock them off. What's the matter with you? <laughs> you snuggle with them. Was meerkats. it just at that point? Was it just a case of too little, too late? <laughs> no, I just, I, it was while they were all dying that I was like, oh. I hate this movie. Right, right. <laughs> Take me home. <laughs> I felt like my mom, as a little kid in Bambi, as soon as like the mother was shot, she was done for and had to be led from the theater. I was almost that hysterical. <laughs> that's unfortunate. So that's why you like Goon more. There's no animals that die. No one died. No one died. Or did people die? I don't no, know. No, nobody died. <laughs> yeah. And nobody got died in Hitchcock either. So. No. Which is well, funny because I know a lot of people who really don't like that movie. Hitchcock? Yeah. Oh my god, I loved it. Yeah. But again, I, was, I went in with yeah. zero expectations. I didn't even really want to go. I wasn't feeling good. And I was like, That's I don't right. know, it's free. But yeah. Well, yeah, that was one. I, I got I got a screener DVD of that. So I wasn't even going out to see that. I was like, well, if you're going to give it to me, yeah, I'll watch. Why not? <laughs> we got yeah. t-shirts. Yeah, there, like, oh. there it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I watched that one too. Uh, really stylish. Like, that's kind of like, uh, like, that's one of these like yep. Mad Men offshoots of yeah. making the 60s look really good. And I like the way that it focuses on the marriage. Like it wasn't. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. It's not yeah. really. It's not really Hitchcock so much as it is Alma. Alma. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. But I guess that's yeah. a harder sell. Um. <laughs> Maybe she had the same last name. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> oh. She didn't. <laughs> she didn't though, did no, she? she? No. Didn't. Oh, okay. No. no, never mind then. I take back the O. And Scarlett <laughs> was amazing in that. For the first yeah. time ever, I, I thought everybody was. Scarlett I thought was people like, were well, she past. looked like Vivian Lee. She totally yeah. Let's did. start there. She was like channeling Vivian there. Yeah. She had the little head tilt quirky thing. Yeah. Yep. And uh, James Darcy doing his best, yeah. doing his Beth Anthony, Anthony Perkins. Yeah. How awesome was that? Amazing. He'd be awesome. I didn't yeah. even recognize him. Yeah. I was just like, he looks familiar and I have no idea where I've seen him before. Yeah. That's right. Well, and I'm then Google you Google it on the way home and she's like, oh my God, that's the guy from that movie we saw. <laughs> <I'm> like, really? <laughs> No, but I know a lot of people who really didn't like. I know Hitchcock. They found it kind of slight. Uh, they, they they found they they did find Anthony Hopkins hanny, and he is like that, yeah, that, that's, that's oh, kind yeah. of the biggest handcuff of the yeah. movie is the fact that I'm like I'm watching Hannibal Lecter. I'm, <laughs> I know I'm watching Hannibal Lecter. I've watched him play Picasso. I've watched him try to play an African American. I've watched him do all <laughs> sorts of things. I'm watching Hannibal Lecter again. Yeah. And and that's kind of what held it back. Did you see the Toby Jones one, the girl? No, because no, I'm curious to see that now. Because I've heard that one's pretty good too. But that was I've, that was. Yeah, like well, I've seen. I've heard mixed things on that one as well. So oh, I yeah? Think, yeah, yeah. Well, I think because I liked I liked the story within the story. Like I liked what brought the movie about. Yeah. And uh, and I loved that it was about their relationship because the whole time I was just really pulling for them to figure it out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, their their personal to, and their professional relationship, right? Yeah. Like that's yeah. that, that's the thing. I'm like trying to work with the person. Like when Alma goes on set, she's like, "All right, <laughs> this is how it's going to be. There's yeah. only one director on this film, but." Yeah. You know, or when she like when when Psycho is not performing the way they want it to, like one that's complete in between completing it and yeah. releasing it, yeah. and she says, "Let's whip it into shape." And, yeah, and it, 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 yeah, no, it's a, it's a great yeah. moment. Just, yeah. yeah, no, I, I'm I'm with you. That movie's it, it, a lot of people I think wrote it off unfairly. It's it's not, it's flawed for oh, me. Totally. For course, me, it's yeah. flawed, yeah. but I, I think it's it's worth more than the flaws. Yeah, yeah. I, I had a very yeah. enjoyable time. Like the yeah, whole time I was in there, and I left in a great mood and. Yeah. Totally reinvigorated my love of Hitchcock, and then I went out and bought like the Blu-ray collection. I have to just borrow those off you. I know it's so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I watched a Saboteur the other Get night, and I'm like, and I hadn't seen great, it for like yeah. that's great ten years. And I'm just sitting there going, "This is so good." Mm-hmm. I love the fact that those films still hold up. Just yeah, most of them. Amazing. Some of them are North by Northwest is still the best. Uh, I'm uh, I'm actually kind of partial. I'm partial to both Psycho and Vertigo. Those are, those are my two I like favorites. the Cary Grant ones, just because I think mean, oh, okay. Cary Grant's just freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay. Notorious. Oh. Which I saw for the first time this year. Angry Bergman. So hot. Yeah, you can't go wrong. So hot. 
did you get to the screening at uh, at the Lightbox? No, that was one of the ones yeah. that Guillermo del Toro was doing. Yeah. He was doing like a lecture. Oh yeah. So this was insane. Like you want to talk about spending the night at the movies? <laughs> um, he would do a thirty minute introduction of what you were about to see. You'd watch the movie and then he'd talk about it for about another hour. Wow. So, wow. Yeah. You, so you're yeah you're at the new that, that's the your evening. night yeah. yeah you're not making yeah. other plans that's wicked yeah no, was, <laughs> and, and and the guy knows Hitchcock backwards oh, yeah. and forwards he did he did four of them I only went to three of the four but wow. but um, Notorious was the first Notorious one. was amazing yeah. I love that movie had you seen the other two before. The one that I missed was the one I had seen. I, he oh, okay. did in North by Northwest. I, I just it, it sold out. That was part of the reason yeah. why I didn't make it. Um, the other two were uh, Frenzy, which is not mm-hmm. one of his best ones, and that yeah. was actually one of the reasons why Del Toro chose it. Yeah, is he goes, you, if you're going to talk about a director, you can't just talk about their hits. You yeah, have, you have to, to talk. About it. You have to talk about the stuff that's not as well received. Yeah. Yeah. If it was even a flop, sometimes you have to talk about that too. Oh, totally. Um, the other one was Shadow of a Doubt, which <sighs> which was, is the next one on in my box. Yeah, and, and that and, and again that was amazing. And it's, it's it's apparently his favorite film, like Hitchcock's favorite, favorite film. film? I can I can see yeah. that. Are you watching them in like? Yeah, I'm watching them in the way they're. Yeah, so oh, yeah, it's, very nice. it's about this girl who comes who uh, who has her uncle come to visit and begins to suspect that he's the merry widow murderer or something like that. Like nice. He, he romances these women and then kills them and, and she begins <laughs> and to suspect yeah with a just, really chilling monologue yeah. in the middle by yeah Jessica. oh my god yeah yeah about what it isn't it's about like the role of women role and what, of women yeah oh and it's, oh yeah just, oh. you listen to it and you're just yeah and, the, and you, you want to works today you want to punch him and you're terrified <laughs> all at the same time it's still unnerving today yeah though. it's just yeah. wow he ends it nice. by like looking right at camera to deliver yeah. the last part of the line yeah. Just to really screw with you? Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. oh, great. Sweet. Yeah. Maybe I'll come watch it at your place. We'll <laughs> sure. Put it up in the, <laughs> put it up yeah, the room. and then on my list, of course, my top one was The Hobbit, just for the experience of going back to Middle Earth. Well, because. I'm kind of surprised with that, because I was let down. Okay. I, I liked it okay. at the end. See, so like, what about Bilbo's mother's glory box? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> he mentions his mother's glory box when the dwarves are all. I like, must have like, not yep. been paying attention to that. I, did not I must have been trying to that. fish the last Mike and Ike out of the box or something. <laughs> it was yeah, it was yeah. Because one of them, I'm, 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 I'm half convinced you're making this up. No, no, nope. one of them. I can't remember which dwarf, but In one fact, of them is putting in their spoot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I told Beth to listen for it, and then yeah. she just couldn't get past it. <laughs> I wouldn't get past it either. Yeah. I, I would. Yeah, I'd be like, I wouldn't be paying attention to half the movie just because I'd be listening to that. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was like, what? <laughs> she leans over and goes, Glory Box. <laughs> but now, so, okay, so time no, I'm not out. saying it's the best film. I'm saying it was my favorite film. Okay, yeah. but, but even still, uh, this is what I wanted to ask you, because I'm, I'm, I've come to the conclusion this year that it's just not my franchise. I, I, it's not like right. I dislike it. I just don't it's just care. Not, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, and actually, no. I, and, I, and the thing is, I like the first three films. The third one I like the least, but I oh, like I love I, 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 the I'll explain that. I cry every time. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, <laughs> I just, I, I can, I can just, I can take it or leave it. That, that's the thing. It's not, you know, it's the kind of thing of like, oh, Two Towers is on, and like I'm not going anywhere. Versus some, so there's lots of other movies where that is the case. But I'm just wondering if we're, if, if uh, Jackson is just trying to pull every last nugget of content out of Middle Earth. Oh, totally. Cause, and that's the thing. I wonder, yeah. like, uh, you know, isn't there something to be said about a little bit of brevity here? Do, did we need yeah, I don't think half we need of the movies. thinnest book to be two hours and 45 <laughs> yeah, minutes? No. I'm already exhausted, and there's two more movies yeah. to go. If I'll this, agree with that. Now, if this was or the the, the whole book, mm-hmm. or if they went with the plan of two movies... Two of movies would have been fine. It would have been okay, but even mm-hmm. then, with the two movies, you got to keep it down, man. I, I can't do, yeah. like, six hours of one book. <laughs> So no, my 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 gripe with um, not not I'm to excited pick, to see the dragon. I am too. Oh yeah, no, the dragon looked great. And, 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 and Cumberbatch and um, Gollum looks awesome. He did look awesome. He was yeah. a lot of fun. That was my favorite part of the whole movie. Oh yeah, so that's, that's, that was what kept me going. Everybody's bro, favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the dialogue. Yeah. Um, and Keely and Feely and I. Uh, He's all like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know what I think it is as well is that I am not crazy about the end of Return of the King. All right. Well, Which the, one? Yeah, I was gonna say the sixteen, <laughs> specifically the sixteen endings. I think I spoke talked about that when I rewatched them because for me, because everybody always says, "Oh, the movie took so long to end." Blah 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 blah. blah. But I'm like, you know what? I was happy with the endings because I didn't want I didn't want it to be done. I wanted to stay there. Right. So, so I am. I am. It was kind of like slowly weaning me and like. 
Okay, here, push you a little further. A little See, further. I'm I'm a believer that a bad ending should not ruin a whole movie. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, like I, I've seen a lot of people go, ah, you know, it's doing great, and then it just ended. What the hell? I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking if you've just built up an hour and 45 minutes of currency, you shouldn't, you know, just be able no. to cash it all in in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> um, I think yeah, all it was, was <laughs> yeah, I, I think all it was, though, was, like, there's, there are, literally, I think there is about four endings. I'm, I'm joking when I say 16. There's at least three. There's, yeah. I think there's four. It's been a while. And, and every one of them seems like a very natural place to just stop yeah, telling to stop the story. That I don't need another epilogue and another epilogue and, and that was a, yeah. and that just I was like just end please just end <laughs> and because of that I think I just got soured on see we're, uh, yeah yeah we're yeah. quite happy just to stay in Middle Earth yeah. I would be in the Shire permanently Frodo permanently. wasn't nope. but <laughs> he I'd had be to go happy. I'd be there with my feet up now here's one we want to know. What was your favorite movie? Well, this 2012, is, Ryan. The, what was it? This is where I divide you both and just watch the sparks fly. Uh, oh, I so. I yeah, oh, I know so, actually. Because <laughs> one of you likes it, one of you does not. Um, well, my, if it is what I think it is. It is what you I think like it is. Yeah, my, my favorite but, film of 2012 was Prometheus. Oh, yeah. See, there it is. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gigabytes of emails flew back and forth. <laughs> In the, in the fall of Ryan this was movie. giving you the look. <laughs> Ryan's like, what? <laughs> yeah. No, no, I will own it. I am one of the very few people who will say that that was not only awesome, but so awesome that it was, you know, tops of the wow. year. And I am fine with that. I mean, I liked it. Don't get me wrong. I did like it. Yeah. I didn't love it. That's fine. Yeah. And, and, you know, I mean. Mainly I'm, because Ridley Scott's an awesome technical director. Yeah, but he 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 comes and goes, right? Like oh, yeah. for every movie in the last ten Body years, wise. I was gonna say for every movie in the last ten years he's released that's been as amazing as something like Black Hawk Down or oh as underrated as it is Kingdom of Heaven. Yeah. He'll release something like A Good Year yeah. or oh, yeah, 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 or Body of Lies. Yeah. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I pay the bills. Yeah, no, I <laughs> pay the bills. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Um, no, it, it was no Black Rain. No, no, it wasn't. Love that girl. Um, but really? yeah, Michael Douglas is kick ass in that movie. I only Not saw a- part of it on the plane to England, and I fell asleep in it. And then a motorcycle crash woke me up. <laughs> I left the headphones on by accident. <laughs> I taken some gravel. It's good. <laughs> it was my first time on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Um, it, it took me out of the theater. A lot of what it talked about, like uh, when you and I were talking about it, we were really, really hammering on plot. We were <laughs> hammering the living hell on plot. And I think that was where the difference was bet- between you and I, was I was more captured by theme. And, you know, stuff like arrogance. For, first of all, that was right. the thing that I, when I wrote about it as like my top film of the year, the arrogance of technology and the arrogance of people saying they're gods just because they yeah, have children. Yeah, yeah, the, well, yeah, the arrogance, <laughs> but oh like, like the arrogance of what power means, of like what money and status and everything. And, and you know, if you are if you are a person who has people who work for you, you grow this kind of you know you grow this this esteem that may or may not be earned. And along with that, that's so there's so there's an arrogance there that I was really fascinated by, and in, in in a way that no other movie this year talked about. The other thing I was I was kind of caught up with was um, technology and and our advancements and are we better off with what we do to kind of to paraphrase Jeff Goldblum in uh, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing my best Goldblum now right, I don't know what it. that means um, in, in, in Jurassic Nobody Park we ever started to ask if we should yes <laughs> well yeah no that's yeah to, to you know just because you can go looking for can your you, maker can you go do the, like, the whole thing no oh. <laughs> <laughs> silence because, of the lambs tonight either. just because you can go looking for your maker should you Hell yeah. You know, just because you okay, like the the other thing that I thought about was look at we're now in the information age. You can discover anything you want to know at a few keystrokes. Yeah, no and matter, it doesn't cost you anything. Doesn't cost you anything. Whether or not it's something you should know, yeah. whether or not it's something that's appropriate for you to know, and 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 that's the thing. It's like we've we cannot put that genie back in the bottle. You know, any kid who wants to know 
what is murder? All they have to do is go to Google and type in what is murder and they will be looking and reading at things that they're maybe not ready for. And that kind of thing comes up in Prometheus of just because you can chase these things down or invent these things, <laughs> are we better off? So that I was thinking about all this crap while spaceships were blowing up and while old guy Pierce was waddling around the set. And, you know, <laughs> why she didn't run to the side. Why she didn't run to the side. <laughs> while everybody else was wondering, why is he taking off his helmet? I'm thinking... Yeah, I wonder about God. You know, that, that was the thing. So I, I, I was distracted, and, and I will admit, yeah, again, there, there, there are, I don't think there are holes so much as there are just things that people... Well, haven't thought it. Yeah, no, I think, Maybe your brain is just better than the movie. I'm not that arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, yes, but I'm not so pompous as yeah. to say I understand it better. It was just, it was where it took me. And, okay, that's and cool. no other movie took me to these kind of places. That's kind of cool. I can respect that. Yeah. I still like it. She I doesn't. still don't. Yeah, I was going to say. And it looks gorgeous on Blu ray. Looks mm -hmm. fantastic on Blu ray. Yeah. Now, you know what I'm going to tell you because I tell it to everybody. Uh oh. What am I going to tell you? You didn't like it? Watch it again. There we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> it, it is, it's, it, as you know. Uh, you're, you're, I can't even say that for Les Mis with you. <laughs> I did. Because you did watch yeah, it again. Yeah, um, yeah. My, my, my motto, my mantra is watch it again yeah. because, you know, the movie doesn't change, but no, we do. But your perception of it does. Yeah, yeah. so, so yeah. if somebody doesn't like something, I'm like, But shouldn't come I back wait like it? 13 years and come back to it then after I've changed a little bit? You can come back to it in a year. Sometimes you can come back to it in, in a week. I'm, I, you know, sometimes I think, you know, if you're, if you're in a bad mood or it's just, it's not giving you what you want it to give you, you just, you kind of get that out of your system, get the yelling, you know, come to me and yell at me about why I'm wrong and then just go, go back to it and let it do what it, it's going to do. All right. I like when you yell at him more than you yell at me, by the way. <laughs> Most if people I do. If I start doing that with The Walking Dead, though, it's just going to give me more ammo. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't watch that anymore. <laughs> so glad. But let's let's sidebar for a minute sure. and, and talk about uh, how you even got into blogging. What 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 got you started? Because I know what got us started, but what got you started? You got uh, us started in ge <laughs> in general or about yeah, movies like, specific in general. Like it was what, a, what? It was the weirdest thing. Somebody asked me about it the other day, and it was the weirdest thing. Um, I I started out like in terms of social networks online and whatnot. I started out in ar around ten years ago. I, I was on this site called Art of the Mix, which is still around, but it's mm. not nearly the same as it was when I was on it, which is all about just posting playlists and mixed tapes oh, and cool. mixed CD and just music part in general. And on that site, like people of similar musical tastes, they, you'd leave comments on your mix right. of, oh, that's a cool track, or where did you find that, or I like this, and whatever. And we all kind of started commenting on each other's mixes, much the same as we all comment on each other's <laughs> Are sites. Are you asking mm. me out? <laughs> yeah, 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 that kind of thing. And after, that, that site had been going for a little while, and after about two years, they opened up this section for blogs, which I didn't even know what the hell that was at the yeah. time. This is like 2004, like June of 2004. And, you know, they're like, so I, so I was like, okay, I guess I'll write about music, like a paragraph or two. I was right. writing very long stuff and, you know, I'd find out about something or some musician would die. And I thought that was kind of cool. And then just unceremoniously, the site just shut down. <laughs> I was like, oh, crap. It, it did come back. But by that point, most people had moved on. Mm -hmm. So I then just kind of looked. I was like, well, I liked this whole blogging thing yeah. and people being able to read my thoughts on stuff, reread my 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 writing not read my thoughts um, <laughs> pick a number um i see a pink donut yeah so i moved well, so i moved over to um i think i moved i moved over to live journal okay and i had a space yeah i had a space there sue remembers it because sue and i go way back way back um, i was good i was doing the math i was like i knew long you for three time years. Yeah. <laughs> um and that one was just that was just about any old thing that was happening that was about like I don't think I wrote about work. I think that was the only thing that was a complete no-no. Good call. Um, yeah. But that was about like my relationship and wow. music and movies and photography and sports and you name it. And yeah, again, I gained a few friends. Some of the friends from Art of the Mix came over and nice. other people would leave comment. But it was limited because unless you're living something, unless you're doing something very specific, like mm. if you are a Canadian living your living a year in, in Japan, you might get right. some readers on right. something yeah. specific. Nobody's life is really that interesting. I don't care how I, even the, the Dos Equis guy. No, Ooh. no, no, no. <laughs> you know the most interesting man in the world? Oh, that guy. Even his blog would be dull as dishwater, generally speaking. Yes. And except to him. Except to him. <laughs> yeah. 
So <laughs> it was my wife actually who said like she kept needling me saying why don't you grow this? Why don't you why don't you try and nice. and I was like but no but I was like who wants to read about my life? And somehow or another I don't know but between us it was like go back to how you started and write about one thing before it was yeah. music. So she goes just write about one thing and just try and grow it. And that was what I, so I was like. Okay, well, it's either going to be movies or music. Right. Yeah, it's going to be one of the. Other. So awesome. I, think yeah, I remember you deciding between the two. I think, where, yeah. and you chose movies because it wasn't. It was at the time like a little lesser than than. Because your I think, level of music knowledge. Yeah, part of it I think too is just because music is just such a rabbit hole. Yeah, movies there there you know movies is a, is a rabbit hole too. Mm-hmm. But I just I think that there's a firmer threshold. I just I think there's just like endless amounts of music out there to go through. Yeah. And, and just you know you can love stuff that you haven't even found yet. Yeah, movies. Yeah. You know, there's only so many movies made in a year. Every week, yeah. there are hundreds of albums and singles that are dropped. So to keep up with it, I, I have nothing yeah, but can, mad respect yeah. for, for people who have great music blogs. Because I have no idea how they find any kind of focus. <laughs> they don't have jobs. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. People, I know people who they've got like, jobs like we do, Ugh. and they still run a great site and that kind of thing. Not to mention, like that's just if you want to write about just the music as... In its own form. If yeah. you want to write about like you know going to see the concert or like something like oh, North by yeah. Northeast... Oh my God! How do you even right. know where to begin? So no, so it, it, I was like, I, I think I tossed a coin or whatever, but it yes. ended up being movies, and it was about a year or so of writing to an audience of like twelve. You know, I'd hit, I'd hit <laughs> your like, mom off and on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd hit, I, 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 I'd hit like thirty hits in Did a you day. Did laundry, like, dear? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was that kind of stuff. You know, it was coworkers. It was yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> That's awesome. And, and and yeah, and then when I started, like, just I just. You have to keep with it. That was the yeah. thing I took away from it was you will you start and you will have an audience of six, yeah. and you're just you know and just slowly build it. Yeah. And that's, well, that's what you know. Yeah, wow. that, is awesome. that, is it, <laughs> that doesn't happen on my show. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's one of the things that I got from you right off the bat was the fact that if we my volume off. <laughs> <laughs> Is if we're gonna I don't do have it. a producer, but yeah. <laughs> we. Uh, was that if you're going to do it, you do it consistently, i.e. every day. Well, that's where I'm a little obsessed. <laughs> well, that's good, though. That means you've got... Because well, you said it as a target day. first. Yeah, and then, yeah then it, it, it was like a stupid yeah. little dare, and then yeah. it just became the routine. Uh, like uh, I'm on three years in a row of nice. writing every single... Of like yeah. posting every single day. Yeah. No, that that's like I I don't know I like I don't know how in the world I've managed to make that my routine. But and it's like good, and though. stay married. Yeah, like I got married true. three years ago. Like that, that's what I'm saying. That whole time yeah. you have her on the show once in a while, <laughs> whether I want to or not. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Though. But but that's one of the things I got from you though is write every day. So we've got stuff that goes up every day because that's one of the guys that you said would work for us and it totally has it's totally paid off for us. well the thing like the thing one of the things that you guys have over me that I, I you know one of these days I'm just gonna cave and do is there's two of you yeah if one of you just isn't feeling it on a day <laughs> you know you pretty much every day you can, but that's what I'm saying if Tim just if he's like you know Sue do you have something I'm like I'm sitting, there, there's times where I'm sitting there at like 12.05 I'm like I got nothing it's not coming <laughs> yeah yeah what's new in trailers yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But see, well, happily though, we've got like those books that I've been working my way through. We've yes. got, I'm almost in the 101 horror movies. I'm halfway through the 101 sci-fi movies. Just started the 101 action movies. So there's always something going to go up. Well, plus even like with and they're great plus books. We talk about whatever the hell we want. <laughs> Well, there's that. To the zoo today. <laughs> yeah, there's there, there, there's that, and like also just what you guys have done with the, with the TV shows that you you have supported. It, it's you know you you found. You, you found kind of a fallback in terms of you know what you can write about. There's always something going on with yeah. these shows, and there's oh, people true. involved yeah. with the shows to talk yeah. to. That it's it's that's kind of the source of inspiration. I, I I think if you're if you're very narrow in what you like, and you guys are not, no. you're gonna have a hard time. Or whores. <laughs> you're gonna have a hard time. <laughs> you're gonna have a hard time finding inspiration of stuff to write about. But I think like if you like a lot of things, or if, yeah, if, if there's always something going on. Yeah, yeah, no, Which it's very cool. Yeah. I, I, I need that. I need to find a co-writer. Or co-host. And you know what else we do is we, we take the crap out of it, but we yes. also... Um, the shit out of it. Yeah, we tweet I can say that because it's the internet. And we, 
we I try that I, page I, try, I feel so guilty sometimes I swear oh, if we it, don't even think it, about it anymore we if just, it's if it's different. like the second tweet of the day on the same subject <laughs> I'm like oh, we did this <laughs> no well that's what we've got like Audrey who would just retweet anything we do which yeah. is she's she's been such a loyal fan no, but we'd like for like the film festivals and stuff. And oh we'd, yeah, like, send it right yeah. to like, the people that yeah, like Sushi to... Girl was very happy with our oh, review. Oh my god, and... they were so happy. They did a little. <laughs> Has ever there was that one doc where the people in Norway or whatever? Yeah, uh... from the hot dogs. I covered one of the uh, that film about the uh, band that they were, were they were all kind of mentally impaired and okay, like, and they form a band and saw it, wrote about it. And the next day, literally everybody in that country had read this article, and <laughs> it was like Finland had turned yeah, purple Finland, on it. the map. Yeah. Like, wow, <laughs> that's awesome! <laughs> that <is> so cool. <laughs> has it ever? The one thing I found has it ever? Any of this ever felt like like any kind of a chore? Like, is there ever? Has there ever been a moment where you're thinking to yourself, "I know I want to write about this for the morning. It's just I just I can't I've got, do it." Or or like you you it's been the day the morning of a show, and you're just thinking to yourself. I just don't want to talk tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I go. Uh, I've got this actually scheduled into February now. Is how far ahead I've got. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying like map it out. Oh no, no like but you're uh, clearly you've got material. That's yeah. good. <laughs> but what I'm saying I is do. the drive ever waned? Oh yeah, but that, I kind of think that's why I've gotten me into February. So that means I've got like a three week period now. Where if I get up and like, oh, I don't want to watch like this today. I just want to watch an episode of Castle or or whatever or Haven, and I don't have to write about it. Just Put on something I don't have to write about and relax. I did that last night. I watched like two episodes of Castle, like an episode of Westworld. I'm like, I don't have to write about any of this. Yeah, Tim, Tim will be like, I had to go home, put up my feet, and watch something that I want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> and and for every show that we do, even the even like the audio interviews when we were doing them, there would be times during the course of the day where I'm like, oh, I'm not sure I really want to do this. Like, you know, just yeah. not in a bad way. It's not, I hate this. It's just like, oh, Tired. do I have to do it today? <laughs> I just want to go home. But the closer we get to, like, whenever we're meeting that person, whenever we, we get, get into the studio, jacked up. I get jacked up. I get that excitement. I'm like, yeah, yeah. it's going to be awesome. So, and then since we started coming in here, I'll be like, do you find you kind of miss being in the studio? Like, it's been like a week and a half and we haven't <laughs> we been We need to there. get back in there. we yeah, got to find somebody to talk to. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we've been really lucky. Now, the only time I find that it, it gets a little out of control for me is, be, uh, you know, because all my guests are doing it just out of purely the kindness of their heart. And, you know, they, <laughs> oh, they, yeah. they almost never have something to actually pimp. But Lindsay always makes... Cookies. Well, I was going to say, where's yeah. the baked goods? Because oh. you guys have both been on my show, and there has been, like, cakes and cookies and sweets and... We were at 7-Eleven earlier. I yeah, got you a problem? taquito. I had to pay for my tea. Like, what the hell? I had to, I had to get cash and pay gonna, for my tea. Are you going to storm out? Yeah, I might. Um, no, but we're, we're the, only, the only time we're on my show, it's been a little... Um, it's been a little... I don't want to say it's work, but it's been a little trying is if I have to scramble for a guest. Yeah. Like, they're, they're, they're everybody who's been on my show, and I've loved pretty much every single guest. There's been one or two where I was like, what the hell? That was us. No. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are awesome. Um, and the fact that you're nearby, you're a great L. Um, <laughs> Would you run down to the theater and see yeah, the next movie? Yeah, let's see something Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, it, it's just that every once in a while, some like somebody will get sick or somebody won't yeah. see or they won't be able to see or there's technical issues and I'll have to scramble to fill a hole yeah. and that's usually why I'm like, why am I doing this one again? Yeah, can I just <laughs> skip right to the and next go to episode? the next episode? Yeah, but it's and then you time. have like different time zones where you <laughs> get to accommodate. Don't. Crazy. Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna. Top, I'm not gonna top New Zealand. No, I don't. I I because because it they was, were in the future. Yeah, they, I think it. I think it was eleven at night for her and seven in the morning for me. <laughs> the day before. The day before. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, and we're like we're, we both sound exhausted because we're in just stupid times <laughs> talking about <laughs> Pixar movies. But it's, it's never a bad time for Pixar. No, ever. But ever. I know. I, I I really dig that. Actually, that's the one thing I I, I like is going across Skype to. Um, you know, I, I had a guest on from Ukraine. I had, okay. I had a couple from England. Uh, the Jamaican is always a great guest. Uh, a guy named Andrew Robinson. He's always a great guest. I'm, 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 hoping, to get a few, I'm hoping to get a bit more of that this That's year. That's awesome. Which is wicked. I love that shit. Yeah. I love it. I, and I do love the fact that... Do you want me to start practicing accents and then we can just pretend? <sighs> 
We've got the accent. <laughs> Chris Holden Reed, you have not called us back yet. That Brogoff <laughs> is still on the books. I'm just saying. We're going to see him tomorrow. <laughs> we are going to see him tomorrow. I start thinking about like places where I don't know any movie geeks. Like I'm like, I want to talk to a German. Ah, there you go. I don't. Yeah, I, I think I do know a German, but I'm like, you know, or I'm like, I want to talk to a Portuguese person. George. Argentinian. George. <laughs> George. 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 In Portuguese? <laughs> in Portuguese, please. <laughs> oh, and of course. If only it was that simple. If and oh then you God, just hear yeah. Kit in the background. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Willow, get off the printer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, of course, the thing that kind of unites the three of us is our love of movies. Yeah. Oh, and that's you know, the cool and, thing. And there's baseball, of course. And our employer and, and baseball. And our employer, sure. Yes. Which, yeah, I wouldn't, yeah, I would. Really we could have a whole other show about baseball well, with good. the season coming up. <laughs> well, it's it's the funny thing. Um, the one, probably the highlight, one of the, the highlights of my year last year was um, I went down to Chicago. Well, that's on, right. On, on one of my little yeah. baseball excursions. And while I was there, I, I it's a kind of a hub. I know a lot of movie bloggers in the Chicago area. And I just, I started putting it out there by emails and whatnot. I said, guys, I'm coming to town. I'll be there for the weekend. On this night, I want to go to the bar. And as many of you who can make it out there, make mm-hmm. it out there. I have never met any of them face to face. Some of them I was like, you know, like watching when they walked in. Like, <laughs> that looks like they could be the right person. We're not wearing name tags. Or anything. <laughs> no. And so. Were you wearing a hat? No. Oh. Actually, no. I, <laughs> I think, I, said, I, you think I told people that morning, I'm the guy in the green shirt. Um, <laughs> Yeah, look for the guy wearing a on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> look for the guy wearing the Green Arrow T-shirt. I think that was it. And yeah, I've never met any of them before. They've never met each other. Wow, that was the other thing. Which, oh, which, cool. Yeah, That's yeah, cool. it's not like like in Toronto. There is kind of a little. There's a big community. There's okay. a very big community. Yeah. But as near as I can tell, it really doesn't exist very much elsewhere. Wow. I, which stymies me. And the cool thing Great about it is that we're. <laughs> all whether we know it or not we're all very very similar people that you just you sit them all down and you say prometheus sucks go and you can get a whole bunch of them <laughs> a chick is not that was the thing was that even though i hadn't met them i got along with all of them that's awesome. awesome they got along with each other awesomely because they're they're all that same sort of geek no matter whether they're even sharing the same sort of taste in movies you know there's stuff that they're yeah. not gonna like i think everybody like who brown came coats. in Everybody who came in, I think I gave him like the Woody Allen test and the, and the 2001 test, and and you know it would it would restart the argument every 15 minutes. It was great, and so I saw a Woody Allen movie. I, I, finally. I'm sure you have, but um, I'm just saying it was Sleeper. Just so everybody knows, my review will be coming up soon. Let me just say, hated it. <laughs> I'm done. I was going to say you're wrong, but I haven't seen that one. Oh, so. I but not. I know. I saw the poster right there. We, so, yeah, that's, that, that's the thing. It, it's, you know, when you have a love of an art form or yeah. whatever it is, you tend, well, that gonna you tend to yeah. be cut from a certain kind of cloth yeah. that even if you haven't met, I could like I could drop you guys into the middle of that bar in Chicago, Let's go. knowing even less about these people than I do, and you probably would just get along famously. Let's go. Okay. Okay. All right, let's do it. Nice. But uh, but yeah. Can we go to a game too? <laughs> the Bears. The Bears. That's football, but okay. <laughs> Whatever. It's a sport, right? <laughs> That's the one with the stick. <laughs> Hockey. It's a yeah. sport, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll go. I'm just saying. Sure. The Bears. Be right behind. <laughs> Cubbies. Whatever. They all suck. Anyway, let's talk about movies, man. Tim's not invited to any more baseball games. I love the baseball games. That was <laughs> fun. I had a good day that day. That was a great freaking You'll have day. a great time this year because they might actually win. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It was close, though, I think. That game was really close for a while. Oh, no, not, ju- not just that game. Like, they oh. may actually, like, do well nah. overall. Yeah. Not, not just on a nightly yeah. basis, but, like, string a couple of these nights together and do some damage cool. for the first time in 20 years. Yeah, it's been a while. What a way to celebrate that would be. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. Yes. Drink. No, but uh, but movies, movies for 2013. Have you seen the list yet? Have you? Have you? Do you know what's coming? Oh, Do you I know have, what's coming? Are I you have excited three to? on my list. Three's good. I have like pages. I've got I've got, I've got a chunk. 
I don't really I'm, know I'm what's I'm happy coming. as hell that the Mayans were wrong because <laughs> there's so we much would have missed out now. on some great stuff. Well, I want to hear what she's looking forward that to. What was <gasps> wrong? Did I put that down? The Mayans. The Mayans. Oh, the Mayans. Yeah. <laughs> the Mayans did not predict the end no. of the world. No, it was just the end of the Some uh, fool the white guy said it was the end of the yeah. world. It must be because it was the end of the calendar. So I predicted it at December 31st. Yeah. But then Telus sent me my free calendar in the mail. And, and the we're world good to go for saved. 2013. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I just have sex after kids, of yeah. course. We Dead Before Dawn in 3D, of course. Because we're, we're in that. that. <laughs> and uh, Mama. That's right, you sent me a for that again. Did you see a commercial for it? And you're like, yeah. oh, that's out of the list. I saw the poster. There, there's a thing in our Eglinton station. There's a big thing on the wall. And I was like, well, that looks Don't creepy where as hell. We live. What's wrong with you? You're in trouble now. We're going to get stalkers. You're going to get resumes I'm at home now. Huh. Huh. <laughs> huh. 65 kilos. <laughs> 416. Mama, yeah, so I looked it up because I saw Del Toro was producing it or whatever, presenting it. And, uh... Yeah, it looks creepy, and I'm in, and it's coming out in a few days. Monsters University? Oh, I forgot about that one! Yeah, I'm excited about I'm that, too. Looking forward to that, baby. Actually, I'm looking forward to the short, too, but I forget what it's... I can't... I never... I actually, I oh, never looked at the umbrellas. Yes! The oh, blue is that what umbrella, it is? The yeah, little it's, blue it's, umbrella it's, and the red umbrella. Yeah, and they it look super very cute. real, too. Nice. Yeah. I love They're the, in the rain. I love the one for uh, <laughs> in front of Brave. Paper Man or something? No. No, that was in front of the Rick one with Ralph. the stars. The one with the stars. Uh, yeah, La Luna. Yeah. That was so good. But uh, yeah, I've got a huge chunk. I've got a huge list. What was the, the one with the birds on the wire, and then they got all pulled down? And <laughs> yeah. <up? laughs> I can't remember. Uh, that was that was in front of Monsters Inc. Yeah, I oh, think so. Oh, that's yeah. right. Nice pull. <laughs> yeah, I can't I remember. I can't remember what it was 3D. called, but they were all on the wire. Something. Yeah. 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 I almost said something about Sue pulling it, but I didn't. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thank goodness you restrained yourself. <laughs> I. Uh... <laughs> Oh, yeah. I see Man of Steel. Why am I not used yeah. to you guys? Like, that's, the, that's the thing. Like, I, I <laughs> happens <laughs> every day. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um, the, the, I think the big curiosity for the year for me is easily Man of Steel. Yeah. Uh, I am a huge Superman fan. Yeah. Um, and have been since I was a kid. Wow. Not not quite that huge, but okay. I, I, I have, have you my, seen his Clark Kent? You want me to show it again? <laughs> I have. I have no. I have no art on me anywhere. So it's not just that. It's just I. I, I don't have that kind of dedication I love, to anything. Yeah, I, love I did Superman. almost get you that belt. Oh, oh Green Lantern! <laughs> <laughs> I am suddenly. I am suddenly. <laughs> That was awesome. Can I be honest? I am happy that this is being audio and video recorded. <laughs> I am the coolest person in this room. Whoa! Whoa. Hey, hey, I am, hey! I am nowhere near the nerdiest person in this room. All right, that happens I prefer so geeky. very seldom. So very seldom. Wait till I get my Doctor Who tattoo. I'm just saying. Oh. It's coming. Yeah, because that's helping your cause. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Whoa. <laughs> I'll have Jeez. you know, when those resumes start coming in from all those lovely uh, ladies, yeah. that's 416. <laughs> but Man of Steel. Yeah. Um, it's on my list. I, want it to be I good. don't know. Yeah. It's it's either going to it's either going to totally rock, yep. or it's, it's going to totally blow. suck, yep. and there's no in-between. No. no. I have not. no... Is red hit? <laughs> <laughs> There's only good looking or bad looking. There's no way to do It was awesome. Wow. And true. <laughs> oh, man. Um, <laughs> Man of Steel, redheads. <laughs> I'm happy. Wow. In general. Um, <laughs> I have, like, this much faith in, in the director. Yeah. Uh, I, I understand Christopher Nolan's a producer. And I so just, that gives you a little hope. Yeah. But it's how involved is he? Yeah. Like, I, I've seen stuff produced by Steven Spielberg that's still crap. Yeah. Agreed. Um, so it looks pretty. And it yeah, looks like it's I cool. Like... I think I know what graphic novel they based it on, mm -hmm. um, or at least what they stole the framework yeah. from. I don't know. Yeah, and I have my so I'm, I'm very, very anxious. I want to like it, but we will. We're in the same boat. How did you feel yeah. about the Brandon Routh one? Did you hate it? I realize that it's not a good movie, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, I like, yeah, I like parts of it. I don't like all of it. I like Parker Posey. A lot. Oh yeah, yeah. The problem, right? like you always forget about it. And it's like, oh yeah. Well, see, the problem with that movie is it didn't know what it wanted to be. Yeah. It didn't yes. know if it wanted to be a sig like in some ways it's a sequel, in other ways it's redoing yeah. things from yes. Superman. Yeah. Um, yeah. which I'm excited. I'm going to be going to see that at the Lightbox in March. Nice. They're playing like the 1978 be. Superman. Oh, right on. I think I'm going to that. You must. Is it at night or is it on? A oh no, wait. It's I a, it's a no, wait. Oh no. Is it a Saturday? Yes. I'll be there. I. 
I'm going to be stopping working Saturdays. Oh, good. Get in. <laughs> nice. Well, you will join us. Two then. days of the Perhaps year. I will. So, I don't know when, but yeah. yeah so that's that's my big that's my big 2013 wonder is okay. how well how the amount of CBD. I got one for you guys actually because this is one that I'm, I'm endlessly puzzled about. Um, Lone Ranger. Oh, oh man, yeah, oh, wait, I don't know. Wait, wait, it's Johnny Depp, on. right? Here's the thing. Yeah, yeah that's my that, that's that's my knee jerk reaction too. But uh, go back and watch those trailers for the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie, and think on paper they made a movie out of the ride. Oh yeah, because <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's the same dudes. Yeah. It's Disney again. It's Robinson again, yeah. and, it, and it's Johnny Depp again. Yeah. That's my thing. I'm thinking like it, it looks. It could be absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. But it could be a whole lot of it could fun. Be. It could be. And that's the thing. So I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm a little... And I, I recall like having fond memories as a child of the Lone Ranger. But I think because he had a horse. And I wanted one as well. Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you held it in. That well, I wanted to high ho silver away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, that, yeah, no, I wanted I, a horse. A horse. I do. Horse. I do. That's, that's one of those little wonderings I have. A horse. <laughs> Why am I here? You don't, you don't really... You know, I'm sorry that the AD of Bomb this Girls canceled. <laughs> wow. But every show is... At this point, I'm keeping this chair from show. floating away. It's the second AD. That's what... Right. Oh, sorry, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Ryan chimes in. Right. But what else you got? And you're next, yeah. I'm excited oh, about that, yeah, too, even though I already saw it. Um... Because I'm sure we've got a couple that actually cross-reference. You know well, what? I'll I throw one of mine out. The one I'm most excited about? Trek. Yeah? I'm so excited for Trek. Star Trek. Yeah, that would be well, <laughs> well, because now's the test, right? Like, you can always start yeah. a franchise, but it's, it's like, where do you go? Do you have enough carryover? With from you? there. Uh, it looks, it looks wonderful. Fantastic. I wish they didn't take the bait and produce it in 3D, because I don't think it Yeah, I'm not it. happy about that. Um, well, especially because yeah. they were shooting bits of it in IMAX. Yeah. I'm like, you're going down that road. Just keep going down yeah. that road. Mm-hmm. Make me a full big IMAX movie. Yeah, movie. but I'm, I'm, I'm definitely I'm excited, excited about, yeah. uh, about, about Trek. Um, there, we were talking about it on the way over. There's a new, there's the next Hunger Game movie. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that's not until Christmas. Uh, but so, but it's on like. And it'll a, have Finnick. <laughs> yes. Oh dare. Oh dare. Well, he's my favorite. He's so. Favorite. Um, I'm looking forward to that too. I was, I was very happy to see that movie do well. And and that that's going to be four movies actually. They're not even. Yeah, they broke up the last book. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a lot happens in the book. Oh, well, yeah. you know what? Not really, because that's the thing. You get to the last few chapters of that book, and they run out of road real fast. Yeah. I felt like she. Had enough story for four books, but she only had a three book deal. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, that, that's my that's my impression. I just I hope that maybe they, she wrote it for Nano Rymo and just got maybe, like maybe yeah, end of November. Like, oh, I can't like, write any more words now. now. <laughs> yeah, shoot, it's November three. And then this happened. This happened, and we're done. <laughs> yeah, done. And they all live happily ever after. Ah. Um, I, I yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to those movies yeah. and seeing if they can they can build upon that world. But, but what about as long as they don't like wreck Peta anymore? Because I think they took away some of Peta's edge in the first movie, and I'm worried that. Well, there's a, there's going to be a whole new director, like okay, the, the, the guy yeah. who did the first one. He's moved on to something yeah. else. Because um, right now I'm Team Gale, and I was never Team Gale in the books, <laughs> ever. Can we? I hope we can leave teams. Yeah, that yeah. I, I, that is the one thing of of moving into a new decade, like deeply into yeah. a new decade. I will be very happy about is if I we leave the whole like team joining. A, team B. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like just yeah. right now I'm rooting for Gale because there he we go. Be the only one that has just, like a back. Well done. You get a cookie. Oh wait, that's right. There are none. Oh, he's getting edgy. Yeah. What's that I don't know how you stayed married to him this long, Linz. Whoa. <laughs> She doesn't listen to my show. She's watching this. So, Actually, by the numbers, <laughs> she probably is. probably is. She probably is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else? I'm looking for. Hide uh, Ryan's mom. <laughs> oh, Pacific Rim. Yes, I'm very much looking forward to mm-hmm. Pacific Rim. Um, Guillermo del Toro's next yeah, actual giant movie. He, he produces. Oh, yeah. This is the first one since like Hellboy Two. He's been yeah. off the map a while. Yeah. Because he was going to do The Hobbit. Yeah. Right? And he was uh, he was also trying to get uh, at the not. The at the Mountains of Madness? I don't know uh, about that, but the, 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 the Hobbit was what really set yeah, him back because to do he, that. Yeah. he did development on that for something like three years yeah. before yeah. MGM went under. Yeah. And when they said, well, it's going to be another two years, and he's yeah. like, ah, like ah, yeah. yeah, I'm going to go do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, one that I'm, I'm really curious about, um, and now I've just totally forgotten which one <laughs> it was going to be. I've got like 20 of them in front of me. That's and crazy, I, man. Yeah. Oh, no, I got it. Yeah. Um, I think it's coming out in July, I think. Mm. Uh, before Midnight. Do you guys know this one? Oh, yeah. So there was Before Sunrise. Yeah. 
and oh, before sunset. That's right. yeah. And now ten years later, yeah. they've gone before midnight. Yeah. And then it'll be no, up there. yes, no, no, no. I haven't seen either of the other two. Really? Yeah. Oh, they're uh, they're okay. No, no, they're really no, good. They're, okay. they're really good. Aren't they like okay. romances? Not really. Well, no. Okay, so, because. <laughs> Do we have a thing against happy people? Yes! They're not, they're not even all that happy. Unless you're penguins? It's, it's like when you're sick and you hate everybody who's healthy. No, okay, so it's just, <laughs> The first one is just this guy and a girl meet on a train. They're going to Vienna? Paris? Somewhere in Europe. One of those cities. Um, <laughs> and, and Where you they, can go by train. They meet, they meet on the train, they just they strike a chord, and they just spend the whole night walking around talking. There, there is, There's a spark. Right. Um, spoilers for a movie that's Isn't at least old. one of them with somebody, though? I can't recall. I think so. It's been a while since yeah. I've seen that one. Um, but anyway, they've, they've got a spark, right? They've just got, there's one of these little connections you have when you're 19, yeah. when, you know, when you can have that kind of connection and no commitment and what the hell. And they, they make, uh, they, they say at the end of the movie, they're like, okay, let's come back here in three months. Like, I got to go back. To, I got to go to where I'm going. You got to go to where you're going. That's part of Before Sunrise is they're both going in opposite directions at, the, at sunrise. So they've only got this one night, right? So the movie ends, they split off, and you have no idea what happens, right? It's just as ambiguous. Well, did they get back together? Did, one of those great <laughs> little moments. You know, it was all very wonderful. Ten years later, same two actors, same director, they got back together and they said, we are going to... We're gonna say what happened, and these people are gonna meet up again. But it, we're we're not gonna make any kind of disguises. It's ten years later. It's like they happen to be in the same place ten years later, and they they talk about what has become of their life over ten years. They talk about that night. They they do talk about what happened, and it's it's first of all, it's fascinating watching two early twenties down to two early thirties, yeah, and the changes that that you know that, that come into play, and just how your life may or may not have been what you wanted it to be in those 10 years and whatnot. So now here we are nine years after that, which also <laughs> ended ambiguously of what did they do? Because th th that time he's got to leave at like six. So that's when before sunset. Okay. Okay. So we don't know what happened at six. And now this year we're going to find out what happened at six o'clock and what's happened over the last nine years and where these guys are. It's Julie Delpy and Ethan Hawke. Neither one of them are exactly... You know, tough actors to watch. It's a great, <laughs> they got great chemistry. I'm looking forward to, to going back and seeing these characters ten years later. It has before sunset has one of the best endings of a movie ever, 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 ever. I, I don't even want to spoil it for you. It's that good. <laughs> All right. See that look yes. on her face. So that's that's this year. I'm gonna I say, say Iron Man three. That's it. Well, we'll see about that. Shane one. Black. Well, I'm, What's that to like? Uh, well, let's you know what the test is. It's okay. You got through. You got through Avengers Phase One. Shane Black. Now what? I'm just saying, it, Shane Black. I, I I don't doubt his. I don't doubt his talent. I don't. Isn't it Robert Downey Jr.? He's <laughs> Shane Black is the writer director. But I'm like, but that's the thing. It's wrote a little movie called Lethal Weapon. Yeah, I know. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Who doesn't love Kiss Kiss Bang? You saw that at the film festival. I sure did. Love that movie. He doesn't write. Or so those are some enough. of the yeah. Those are some of the ones I'm looking forward. What about to. the Wolverine? I don't know. Snakes, 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 snakes. See, I, I was okay with Wolverine. I don't know where I am with the Wolverine. Okay. We'll Is see. it the same Wolverine? Why are they focusing on this character they know, so there's, much? All of a sudden, everybody's skittish now to just throw a number. Yeah. So it's like, how do you how do you create? How do you, you know, differentiate? X Men yeah. First Class, yeah. X Men Secret Origin, whatever the hell you want to call it. Ender's like, Game. I think they should call it the Valjean. See. <laughs> Ender's Game is gonna be wicked. I hope it's one of my favorite books. I still have to read the book. I mean, yes, I do. Yeah, I haven't read it. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, I think we talked yeah. about it in a store yeah. or something one time. Yeah, I'll Here bring my copy store. in for you. And what else? I'm looking forward to, like, well, Hobbit. Uh, Thor. There's another Thor. Uh, Great Gatsby is finally coming out Pass. in the summer. No? Pass. Really? Yeah. That looks incredible. Monument. I haven't read the book, but Leo's in it. <laughs> but it's no, but it's another. It's it's Baz Luhrmann doing yeah. another movie. Baz can be hit or miss. It's Leo. He's only got four movies. It's Leo and hit or miss Toby. Out of four. Well. The Australia. first three are amazing. <laughs> Australia was little, though. Yeah, that's one out of four. I'm just saying. If, uh, the, he, that's 750. If he was I a baseball player, he'd be, like, super I rich. I could do whatever Romeo and Juliet did. Oh, now you're just... Oh, Romeo no, and Juliet no, was good. No, no, Where's Strictly Ballroom? I did I wish this was my show, so it could be over. Oh! Oh! <laughs> There's the door, buddy. There's the door. Monuments oh, the, oh, Men. Um, Monuments actually, Men. 
Yes, I love George Clooney as a director. Any movie he George directs, Clooney. I didn't see Leatherheads. Any movie he directs, I will see. Yeah. Um, one that you and I have seen, I don't know if you've seen it yet, um, that comes out in October, You're Next. You're Next. Did you see that? No, but I'm oh, excited to find it. Oh, it's so much it. fun. Yeah. And you did see it? Yeah. I and just, you liked it? I loved it. <laughs> yes. So I'm shocked. It is so much fun. Yeah. You know, it, it's 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 nothing overly complicated. Nope. It, but it's just, it's a great little <laughs> horror movie. Uh, I'm surprised it's sat around this long. Me too. <laughs> One of the most creative kill scenes I have ever seen in a horror film. And I've seen a lot. Blender? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, Nessie, now we've got your... You're like, how does it watch it? It you is will, so you will fun. watch it and you will love it. All right. Like I'm Because I heard a lot of... Like, after TIFF, there was a lot of... Um, some people said that it was... F- Funny, but they weren't sure it was supposed to be funny. And I'm like, I'm. I think it was supposed to be funny. I think so. Yeah. If, 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 yeah. No. That, that that's totally funny. Like it's, they have that whole slow motion running out the door. Thing. Got, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you know, that's like, deliberately the hero shot of the final yeah. girl. Like this is a movie that is not taking itself seriously. Yeah. It's, it's not, like it's straight not, up fun. It's not even really trying to be like. It's not trying to be overly clever. No. You know, it knows what it is. And it's mm-hmm. like I'm just going to entertain you for a hundred nice. minutes. Here yeah. you go. I and and it's movies. done very, very well. It's really funny. Okay, I'm there. All right. Yeah, it's really good. It was my. F- it was like one of my favorites of Tiff that year. Nice. <laughs> Definitely my favorite of I'm the Midnight ju- I'm, I'm happy it's seeing the light of day. I was actually kind of worried that it would just be one of these things that only goes to Blu-ray. And yeah, to yeah, just, and yeah. I thought it had. And then yeah. I, it, you sent me the list, and I was like, you're next. That's like the one with the mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they all wear. They all wear these. Like I remember. Yeah. 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 I've seen the pictures. Yeah. yeah. But some of the creepier yeah. pictures. And, and of course, creepy. World's End. I'm totally looking forward to that. What's that? Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. Ah, uh, yes. Bam! That's right. That's right. The final chapter in the Cornetto trilogy. In the what trilogy? What's Cornetto that? trilogy. What's Cornetto? Cornetto is said. I like It's corn. an ice cream drum, drumstick. So in Shot of the Dead, Sean gets a red Cornetto. Oh my god. In Hot Fuzz, they get a blue Cornetto. Is there more this is, this is like the weakest. That's that's what they've established. This is the <laughs> oh, trilogy, man. and it's going to be awesome because it's Simon Pegg, Edgar Wright, and Nick Frost. And now you're setting your expectations really. No, high. it's going to be awesome. And if it's not, it'll be Wixom. Wow. Wixom. Like was Hot Fuzz awesome? Hot Fuzz is yeah. yeah. I never saw it. Hot Fuzz oh, is dude. brilliant. It's, I it's saw it's the real. trailers it's and also, I was like, no thanks. It's also it's the last real. movie on my 101 action movies list. <laughs> That's a great way to end. Like, yes. um, <laughs> it's really clever. Uh, you'll Now you'll recognize like a lot of people in it. Well, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I kind of recognize a few of these people, but there's a lot of great Are cast. there zombies? <laughs> no, no zombies. No zombies. But no, no. It's... it's, it's 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 a it's so much fun. It's it's yeah. kind of a send up of a lot of those eighties oh, yeah. movies like Point Break and uh, <laughs> which one do you want to watch? Yeah, Bad Boys Two or Point Break? Yeah, no, which one do we want to first? first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so good. I need to watch that again soon. Yeah, God. there's a there's a lot of cool there's a lot of cool like art house movies coming this year as well. Like that was the thing I I thought okay there's a lot of great like big money you know but I was like is there anything happening at the end of the, the year? Stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, tons. There's another movie with uh, Nicholas Winding Refn directing Ryan Gosling, the guys who did Drive. Oh yeah, yeah. Called yeah. Only God Forgives, and apparently yeah. it's supposed to be more violent. <laughs> Like, it. wow. Um, Cronenberg's got another movie called yep. Nap to the Stars. He's Robert Pattinson and Viggo Mortensen this time. And it's supposed to be like sending up like celebrity culture. There's a new Coen Brothers movie this year. I love the Coen Brothers. Shooting. Coen Brothers movie. Okay, get this. So it's set in like the 60s New York folk scene. Okay. Um, it's called, it's got a weird title. It's called Inside Llewellyn Davis. And it's and it's got in it. That sounds this. absolutely filthy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. Before. Well done. Oh, there you go. Uh, Glory Carrie, Carrie Mulligan, Adam Driver. <laughs> Never mind. It's got a whole bunch of good people. <laughs> well, like, and I'm hoping some of the Coen Brothers standards. I I wager I love definitely. Oh, What's brother, where aren't they? one of my favorite. Elysium. That's the one with Matt Damon. That's you the, both have it, I see. The, yeah, that's the follow-up by the guy who did District 9. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, uh, Neil Blomkamp and um, yeah, Charlton Copley, the guy from District 9. Yeah. He was Murdoch in our in our A-Team movie. Our A-Team movie. Yeah, we made it. Was. A- yeah. <laughs> I love the A-Team movie. Did and then have, we podcasted about it's, it. <laughs> it's, it's been archived, but one of these days I've got to dust off that episode where Sue and I talked about the A-Team on the show. We like we gush about it for like 25 years. <laughs> it was awesome. I'm like, we shouldn't like this, but wow. It was so much fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
No, this mm-hmm. this uh, I'm I'm warm really bodies. T- is looks good. Which one's that one? That's the one about the zombies and oh he yeah, falls yeah. In love and it starts to spread like an <laughs> right. infection. Yeah, right. It's like one of those small little keeping. Um, I know one that you really that you really like that um, your your American listeners and viewers will will get to catch up with them, and the Canadian ones too. Is uh, Sarah Polly's story we tell? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, I guess still maybe I'll go see that tomorrow. Well, it's kind of funny because that's been doing the road show around Toronto since like. October. It'll play like two weeks yeah. in one theater, and then yeah. and it's been moving around. I bet you it's the same. And it was same. on my tiff list, but I just didn't get to it when. Uh, well, it's gonna play. Schedule. It's actually gonna play Sundance probably around the time this goes up because I think Sundance is like next week as we sit here. Um, but it, yeah, so so it'll play Sundance, and then it's gonna get a slow rollout through the states, like through this year, and they're like they're positioning it for like a 2014 Oscar push wow. for best documentary, and it I, is so freaking good. Did you not see <laughs> it? Oh, so you're just going on like, oh, wow. Oh, honey. I know. <laughs> you will. It was on my oh, list. There Sarah are, Polly. There are great things. Sarah Polly come and do our show. Because um, you know, because I know, I know like you love the docs. <laughs> do Yeah, she's in town. Um, I know you. She loves yeah. <laughs> what she do? I might even watch that show. Oh, <laughs> we don't need your stinking viewer. <laughs> um, it's a great documentary. Like she just, she tells her family's story and she kind of she just shows what documentary storytelling can be and what it is and you know what storytelling is in general uh in terms of like it starts off with a margaret atwood quote and i don't even like margaret atwood but it's you know it's are you a ford no 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 i have nothing against her <laughs> he knows who she I is <laughs> i have even read one of her books because i had to um, <laughs> they were grading me on it wow. um <laughs> It starts, I, I'm going to paraphrase because I'm going to botch it, but a story isn't a story when you're in it. Because you're, it's just, it's chaos. You're in the middle of yes. events that are happening. You don't know when the story has begun and when the story has actually ended. And it, it examines that kind of thing within Polly's own life cool. and the life of her family. It is a wonderful movie that, uh, yeah, when you catch up with it, I will. And, and as I said, like Mr. Like Mr. Doc, you must see I this. I like Docs. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. And, of course, we're all going to be going to Hot Docs again this year. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We got Actually, yeah, that, I had, out. like, yeah. three, four. Yeah. What, yeah. Three, at least, of my uh, top 12 movies were, like, Hot Docs. <laughs> it's, it's been a great time yeah. for Docs. There's been there's yeah. just been some amazing ones, like Imposter and Queen of... Did we talk about Queen of Versailles? You and no. I? Oh, did, you, you saw it. No. Oh. Did you? No. Yes. No. No, but I no, maybe about, it was just I remember talking about it with you, but yeah. yeah. And stuff like Queen of Versailles, uh, Samsara, which is the first documentary that actually made my eyes hurt because it's so that. beautiful. Yeah. And you cannot look away. It's, yeah, it's a great Women with time. Cows made me sob like I haven't sobbed all year. Yeah. I was in pain after that movie. <laughs> in pain. Wow. So, yeah, so yeah, hot talks out to be fun. Yeah, lots sure. to do. Yeah. Lots to do. We have so much to do. I know. I also, I have Ghost Graduation on my list because uh, <laughs> I would really love. I want that it. to come back into yeah. a theater yeah. or something. Yeah, I don't know if it's. I'm not big on the American remake idea. Just to, like bring it, back the Spanish. Tell people yeah. about it because I don't think they know what it is. I know what you're talking. Yeah, about. <laughs> well, it's Ghost Graduation. We saw at TIFF. We luckily had it at Toronto International Film Festival, and um, it was from it was from Spain, wasn't yep. it, or was it from South America? Nope. Spain. Spain. You got it. Um, and it's basically like um, a tribute slash send up of all those like great 80s movies. Basically anything John Hughes ever did was represented in this film because they, they miss those movies, they love those movies, they wanted to make something just, you know, to pay tribute to it. And they did a bang up job. It's freaking amazing. <laughs> well, and like the specific story it basically uh, is yes. what would have happened if oh, yeah. the yeah. Breakfast Club kids had have died in that library. And yeah, the if there was a fire and they're stuck in high school. Fire. Yeah. Because screws drop out all the time. Huh? <laughs> I'm just saying. I was in the movie. I was in the movie there for a second. Yeah. Screws drop out all the, all the time. It's an imperfect world. Yeah. If Andrew gets up, it'll all get, get up. up. It'll be chaos. I love that movie. I'm going to go home and watch that movie right now. <laughs> Which I think is a great place to kind of tie it up. Because we're all going to go Ghost watch graduation. Breakfast Club and Ghost Graduation. <laughs> so, Ryan, graduation. your site... Is my site is matinee.ca. Uh, I update every single day. Yeah, you do, and you get great comments. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Well, from you guys. And, <laughs> but you interacted <laughs> there. Yes, but you 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 take the time to reply to. Oh yeah, yeah. I do. Awesome. I yeah. I, yeah. I, I value my readers yeah. and, and whatnot. I'm I very active that. on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, the matinee.ca. I I uh, I write once a day. There's a podcast every other week. Uh, the matinee cast, which you can find in iTunes. I'm on Stitcher Radio now too. I don't know what that means. 
uh, some sort of radio <laughs> network, podcast network kind of thing. Wixom. Yeah, which I'm sure. Sure did. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised <laughs> you're not already on it. Um, and yeah, and, and. Maybe we are. Maybe we're famous already. Check yeah. it out. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to my ratings getting the. Uh, the bump. The, the mind goes bump. Yes. <laughs> I have That's what we'll call it from now on. I have no Lost Girl or Bomb Girls content. I'm sorry. So if you're coming looking for that. Movies. 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 Yes. Yes. It's awesome. Uh, oh, on Twitter, I'm matinee underscore CA. Yes. Which, of course, both you and I follow. So if you're following us, you can find Ryan that way as well. That's right. Awesome. Ryan, that was awesome to finally get on our show. Well, as I said, you know, I'm, I'm, I told you it would just be chaos. Then. I know. I, I am around, you know. So if you, you, know, you I feel like I'm the guy who's a guy's. Do you, do you need a guest? Over here. We'll be over here, okay? I'm gonna get some water. I could use a taquito. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to the store, but I'll be right back. I, I lied. I'm not gonna watch the Breakfast Club tonight. I'm gonna read my new Star Wars comic. And then watch the Breakfast. Club. And then watch the Breakfast Club. <laughs> I can't lie. It's true. But yeah, Sue. I've got a lot of TV to catch up on tonight as well. Yeah, you do. Get on I DVR'd there. a lot of stuff. Plus, Bomb Girls is on tonight. Yes, it is. Episode two, Rose is Red. And I've got the first episode of Cracked waiting for me. I'm yeah. Check that out. You should let us know how that goes. I will. It's right up my alley, like in theory, so. <sighs> That's just a wide open subject. <laughs> wow, my alley is wide open. <laughs> I win. <laughs> I collapsed both the men at the table. I repeat, why am I surprised? <laughs> that is awesome. My work here is done. Yep. So see. Taking my Hudson mug. Yeah, with our cool mugs. Who's a bear? Huh? That's what she does at work. I chew on my dad. Who's a bear? <laughs> I sort of do that with my cats, too. <laughs> Especially with Jack Bear. Cause Jack who's my big bear? bear? Who's a bear? Sue, thank you as always. You are awesome. Thank you, Tim. You're also well. Great. As well. Great. <laughs> In addition to. <laughs> to. So. so, yeah, that would be the Mind Reel signing off for smithy.tv. It's what you're watching. And uh, Ryan, thanks for uh, sitting on the app there for us and smiling and giggling. You can take that call now. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going to call? <laughs> Ryan. Thank you Who's and call you? good night. And go get Star Wars. In today's world, people are busy and impatient. We are on information overload. Every minute counts. People want to know what you can do for them. They won't spend time reading or searching, but they will watch a video. If it clearly explains who you are and what you do and tells them what they want to hear, they will reach out to you. You have seconds to get people's attention. You want a video that is engaging and makes the viewer feel as though it is speaking directly to their needs. Add to your sales team a short video and let it do the heavy selling for you. Or add to your social media or wherever your audience is spending their time. Videos can pay back your investment 10 times over. So now that you've heard our message, let's talk about yours. Let's bring your image to life.